every person on their own epic individual journey at some point begins asking the philosophical question, who am I? I'm sure that you've asked that question. A question I'd like to pose to you this morning is, who do you want to be? You can be whoever or whatever you want to be. I know you want to live a full and adventurous existence. Like, I'm talking about balls deep in life, full of adventure, full of laughter, full of peace, full of joy. I know that that's what you want. I'm fully aware that you did not sign up for life to just be comfortable, to settle for the monotonous grind. No one wants to live in that existence. Not a single person does. I know you don't. I know deep down in the pit of your stomach, you're irritated, unsettled with the life of comfort that you're currently living in with this day-to-day -day existence. I know you know there's more. See, you have the power, this innate potential and power, this divine power, if you will, within you. The kingdom of God is within. And you have all of this power to change your life, your family's life, your existence as you have known it forever. You can change your economic existence, your social existence. You and only you have the power to do this. No one can do it for you. It's not anyone else's fault, the position or the place that you take in society. It's not on anyone else. It's within you. The creative potential is within you. You don't have to go to college to awaken this creative potential, although it can be awakened there. You don't have to uh, climb the corporate ladder to achieve the life of your dreams or to be able to vacation. You don't have to enter into one of those pyramid schemes, you know, the one I'm talking about where you work, 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 and create a residual income. You don't have to do those things. The creative power is within you to live an epic, adventurous life. You see, mankind has been looking for comfort for as long as we've been living under time. I think time is one of those uh, things that really interferes with our creative potential. Or I should say it this way. When our life unfolds in time versus being aware of time or seeing through the lens of time as we observe our life, those are two radically different things. Maybe I'll post a link here for you. But we've been looking for comfort as long as man has been living under time. The problem is that by looking for comfort, we miss the full experience of actually living. Like even if you discover comfort, if you find comfort, if you have a nice job, you have some good money in savings, you're saving for retirement, all that bullshit. Then what ends up, <laughs> what ends up happening, man, dude, is like you're, you're just, uh I mean, is what you really want to come home to your big house, to look at your big screen TV and watch basketball or watch your sitcom and go to sleep and then go home and go work or, you know, just drive over to the beach and sit on the beach, the same old beach and look at the same old... No, is that, I mean, I don't know. Is that really what you want? Some people, some of you might be traveling the world, but you're fucking miserable doing it. If you're not laughing and playing and really enjoying, and only who know if you're really living the life of your dreams or not. But you can live the life of your dreams. That's the point of this entire video is that you fucking can live the life of your dreams, man. You don't have to live in that comfort. But see, when, we, when we're looking for comfort, we miss the experience of living. It's almost like we've, we've been living in survival mode instead of in thriving mode. Instead of like living an adventure and fullness and creative potential and power and creating and playing within the world, this beautiful playground we have, we've been like living in 
full on survival mode, day to day survival mode, trying to figure out where our next meal is coming from, trying to do the next thing, trying to make sure we have enough money to pay our mortgage or our rent, trying to pay those car payments, trying to get that next best thing so that we can climb the societal ladder. Nah, man, like fuck that shit. Those are the three words that will change your life. Link to the video right here. But like, dude, listen, man. You, and only you, have the power to go from survive to thrive. You can change this. The courage to take this leap is rising within you right now. So don't hesitate. Jump. The life of your dreams is waiting for you right now. And one of the ways that you can take that jump, one of the ways that you can take that leap is because I am passionate about helping guide individuals, people just like you, to being the hero of their story, to creating the life of their dreams, to manifesting and playing in the universe instead of just being a pawn and going through the motions and seeming like things just happen. You can take control, man. The secret, the creative and mystic secrets of the universe are within you. They just need to be uncovered. Check out the link below, man. I'd love to have you in some of these upcoming classes. We've got, uh, you got free talks coming up and upcoming classes coming up that are powerful, life-changing courses that I know you would love to be a part of. So check them out. Have a beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.